Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video and today's video is more like a celebration video um, or like a anniversary video. Um, some of you might have already spotted it on screen, maybe, I don't know. I was talking with OctoWolf on my Discord and he reminded me of checking another site that I've been a member of since 2011 and I was like, yeah, I've been a member of that website since 2011 and only have 13 posts, but let me tell you about my life on MPGH been a member since and then i went to my profile had no idea been a member for exactly 10 years today and i wanted to go over my history on mpgh now that i've discovered that i've been a member of mpgh for 10 years under the same username so i just wanted to go over the site i figured this would be a fun little video to do uh and try to s i wonder if i could honestly find my first post my very first post I think it would be pretty hilarious if I could. Um, let's see, what was my first ever comment on my user profile? Let's find out that one. EVGN. NFS World Hacks. NFS World Hacks. That was on 7-17-2010. So people were already starting to understand who I was. Um, and then... Res wall hack tutorial. So I heard you called me a leecher. Well, I ain't calling you a trutha. I. Oh my god, GT boy. Oh, I need to remember to try to email that email and just see what happens. So this was when I made my very first res wall hack, I believe. And what ended up happening, actually, it might have been on another website that I made the first one. I just, I'll log in on that site. If my login still works, I don't even know. Good lord, what would my password have been? I should have done this beforehand. Hold on, I'll pause the recording here real quick and then we'll go from there. Let me reset my password there. One second. I want to see if I was a member there first. Ah, okay, so I joined a little bit earlier on this other site. Um, April 25th, 2010, which, that was my birthday. Uh, sweet. I wonder, actually, how many posts I have on this website. I don't even know. I don't even think I can actually check. Well, that doesn't matter. So, long story short, I had basically reverse engineered the... People were... Okay. People were claiming I reverse engineered the Reswall hack that was released on MPGH when in reality I was just working with somebody else and we had the discovery around the same time. So that's actually how or why I initially was being called a leecher and stuff is because I came out of nowhere with it, basically. Um, but let's see if we can find... Let's go to post areas here. So as you can see, I have 1,625 posts in mod discussion alone. 1,487 posts in the res modding section, 771 in uh, coding, programming, and source code, uh, 549 in help and discussion, 445, 293. I have a lot of posts pretty much everywhere. Wow. I really wonder where my first post is and if it's possible to even see it anymore because it's probably here or here or here. So we'll go last. And looks like this is 2009 is when this thread was created. I joined 2010. Why does this one come up as if I posted in it? That's weird. Oh, idiot moment. Hold on. Um, we're gonna search posts, but I wanna go advanced search. Come on. So I actually just want to search. 
There's no easy way to get to it, apparently. Um, posts. Not all types. I just want posts by Supercars1991. Search Ned. And we're going to find my very first post. I didn't even think about doing it this way. This is so much easier. Um, we're going to go... Uh, okay. Is this going to take me to last? Okay, seven. So, looks like this thread might have my first post in it. No, this my first post would be earlier than this if I joined in July. Let's see, Nate, Nirvana, Popsicle. I, don't, I recognize some of these names, I think. Hmm, where's my post? Where is my post? Where is my post? I just want to find my post because it says I posted here. Dear Lord. Oh, okay, it's only three pages. And guess what? I know, oh, I did post in this thread. Of course, it's something stupid and negative. 6,228 posts is how many I have, and I have 3,622 thanks with 356 rep. I have not changed this in... Yeah, I set that the second day I was ever a member. That's funny. What's this? What the hell is Birdie? Huh. Well, it looks like that's one of my first ones. Let's see. Where's my first release? Heh. <laughs> uh. Looks like this was my first release. Very long time ago, before the last patch, and never released it, but since a few noobs have done gun to knife releases. Um, wow, I was terrible. This has a media fire link. Why does this have a media fire link? Uh, my keyboard fucking sucks. I think I need new batteries on it. I wonder, does this link still work? No. If I use the web archive, will it work? Because sometimes, yes. I wonder, does this even still work? Virus total. 404, that page cannot be found. That's about what I expected. Oops. Damn, can't find that file. That's okay. Oh man, there's so many different things that... There, there's so many things I always did on this website. Um, let's see, let's find another release of mine. Another release, because I've definitely done a lot of them. I've done a lot of them. Uh, it's just another L96A1 to sickle because I responded in it. Uh, da, 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 da. That's copyright. I don't. Why don't I see another post of mine? I should have done thread started by. That would have been smarter. Huh. Ah, Strider Logger. Yeah, it was a leech. I knew it was. And a bunch of that. Noob cake. I don't really see anything else that's a release from me. When did my releases truly start? 
Oh god, is that in level two? No, it's not. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, the Pokeball. Into Grenade, I think. Oh, the screenshots. I remember that when we discovered Nexon takes screenshots of your game while you're playing. Yeah, I was terrible for a long time. Uh, yeah, you just deleted that and you were good. At least I think so. I'm trying to see anything else that I started or released. Which, granted, I think there is an easier way for me to figure this out. That's funny. I remember when we used to call them unpatchable. They were definitely patchable. <laughs> so let's just do my releases here. Let's see the first one that MPGH has backed up. Because I've done a lot more than 52. And some of these are kind of funny. So... Yeah, I definitely had posts and attachments before this. But I think there was a point when... Something happened with MPGH. It was either they moved hosts or something like that. And a lot of the old stuff got deleted and the backup was just this way instead. I still have these chams. They still work. They are shiny chrome chams, just like they're described. Uh, it's like turning yourself into Metal Mario. They were really freaking cool uh, chams. Then I made Sonic models. Forever First Aid actually didn't really work. Um, seashell dump defense command so I'll explain this one because it's not combat arms related and a lot of people don't actually know what it is uh, oh this is still here will this actually download it does huh cool don't need them so defense command is like it says here this is the source code for a Dreamcast game. The game was like a... Uh, just a simple alien shooter that they're coming at you and you sit in the middle and aim at them and shoot them. Uh, that's pretty much all it was. You're a bitch. Anyway, um, I actually never knew that's what happened with this. But apparently somebody did approve it anyway because of 16 downloads. So, you know, it's an archive thing. I'm going to back that up, actually. We're going to save that real quick, and I'll re-upload that for people who want it. If anybody wants it, let me know in the description of the video. Or the comments of the video. Uh, let's see. Custom models. I made a custom gun. I made Sailor Moon. This was the mod of the month competition that I cheated on. <laughs> yeah, I cheated. I put so much work into it, and then somebody else was winning, so I created another account and voted for myself. Um, wasn't my brighter moment. Should have used a proxy at minimum. <laughs> um, custom model packs. This was a D3D base. Oh. I doubt this works anymore. One of my favorite bases, though. But yeah, this was a really nice uh, base to use. And I would still use it to this day if D3D9 was still in use more heavily. Um, I think it will technically work on newer games. I don't know how well that works. I've never looked into it. So a tutorial on hacking sudden attack, which doesn't matter anymore. Nobody plays it. Uh, let's look at some of my funnier attachments here. That... Uh, Seal Hunter, that's from Cyber Spammer. I've been looking for this, actually. Is this source code or the actual spam? Okay, I don't care as much. I can make it again. Some cap stuff. 
source engine models to lift tech a tutorial from a long time ago which i did re uh, recreate if you search uh, my video history on my channel um the full sdk for uh this stuff this was these two were probably my most popular videos that i or most popular posts that i made the pistol pub was a weapon spawner um hack where you could spawn whatever pistol you wanted and obviously video's gone because my channel doesn't exist anymore but uh i got a lot of thanks for this which is pretty cool uh, i got a lot of help with this i think from flango i think no actually flango helped me with this one super spawns 2.0 this one was a ton of fun. Um, this is probably one of my most thanked posts, besides some of my res cham stuff. But uh, this had probably 150, 200 guns in it that you could just weapon spawn that easily. Uh, getting He got me the uh, list of IDs for weapons. Uh, was a nice guy at the time is not anymore or was not after a while beta list tech tools i forgot about these hmm i was told they were beta tools i don't think they actually were i don't know actually what these are they might just be older list tech tools i don't think they're beta Oh, color hacks for legends. This was for your home. The little bottom corner on the home screen where you could click that and add a bunch of colors. This was the more advanced version that I made. And admins even thought it was cool. And then I just sort of went crazy and uh, hacked the ever-living life out of the game. Oops. Uh, boxing mod release. Res chams. A stack of Mustangs. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Sorry, I had to reply to somebody, and I didn't think it was worth pausing for 14 seconds. Um, let's see. Pistol perfection, everything you need to know about caps. This was a D3D base that's pretty cool. Um, decided I didn't give a shit. It was useless stuff. The contract jack package, that's cool. Yep, there you go. That post is gone, but the up, the file's still here. That's interesting. I wonder if I can... No, I can't, because I don't know the direct. Ah, hey, look, the image is still here. I don't think I ever got this base working. But there was a lot of stuff. There was a lot of cool stuff in this base for this menu. It was a very cool uh, D3D menu. I already have these. They're kind of useless. Oh, these were just... There is one tool that I'd like to find that I do not have anymore. And I don't think I'm ever going to find it in any of my releases as far as uh, mod tools are concerned. Let's see. It might be in this one. SMS uh, bomber. This is a. Wait, I needed this because I don't have this source code anymore. Oh, thank you, MPGH. Thank you. Ah, oh, they removed this post. I wonder why. That was a great model unpacker. Huh. What is this? Oh, caps. Duh. Is the tool in here that I'm looking for? It is not. That sucks. So there was this tool we used to have, and I cannot find it anywhere, and I hate that I can't find it because I want to find it. It was this tool for you would take one file in one folder and just the name of that file, and then 
select another folder and it would duplicate that file over and over and rename the duplicated file to a file name in that uh, other folder, to every file name in that other folder. And that's how we used to mass produce regchams very quickly. Instead of manually naming the files, I think I got it from the other website, um, but I guarantee you it's gone because, duh. And I don't think it's gonna be in this tool pack either. the SMS bomber there were a lot of fun things in here that I don't know if I should be proud of creating or not this was the birthday spammer so the story behind this was I hit a my friend Haley's birthday you guys might see her in a video eventually um, because you know, a lot of people have mentioned that they want me to do vlogs of some kind. And there are, there is a chance coming up of an event to do a vlog at with friends. So I figure maybe I'll take the chance and do it at that, which means she'll be in it. So I might as well uh, mention it. Packers, World Packer. Yeah, it's not in here. Um, What was I talking about? I, the train has left the station. Oh yeah, the birthday spammer. The train has come back to the station. Uh, so basically the whole thing with the birthday spammer was I made this text message bomber so that at midnight, um, it would bomb her with uh, text messages. 100 messages in five minutes at midnight. And I thought it was hilarious. I thought it was also a good thing to release. Um... And I wanted to just, you know, release it to the world. And I've had a lot of people ask me for... Jesus, why am I so burpy suddenly? I've had a lot of people ask me for this source, and I haven't provided it because I didn't have it anymore. <laughs> That's totally useless. I can make that so much better now, where it'll just pick random images from Google. Um, oh, God, that'd be so bad. Oh, man. I do actually have some new iOS crashers because iOS seems to have a problem with either other languages or emojis in a certain order. And I know of a couple that are unfound or at least not public uh, that can be used to send to somebody and it either crashes their phone, they can't open their text messaging app, shuts off their phone. There's a bunch of different things. There's probably close to a dozen that I know that I haven't released yet and I've just been waiting to make one of these so I could release it but you know 10 years on MPGH I didn't mean to make this a 23 minute video but I did and this is probably the website that I've been the most active on ever and it was all in the com combat arms section so uh I might make, I mean, it's not entirely on subject of the combat arms discussion section, but I'm going to make a post here. Literally the only section I've ever posted in, pretty much. What was it? 1,600 goddamn posts? 1,600 posts in mod discussion? Uh, I need a calculator. 165 plus 1487 plus 771 plus 549 plus 445. 293 plus 3 plus 240 plus 132 plus 127 plus 109 plus 28 plus 24 plus 19 plus 11 
plus I'm look I'm only looking at combat arms. Um, eleven plus nine plus nine plus eight plus seven plus six plus four plus four plus four plus four plus three plus three. Plus two plus two plus one plus one plus that's it. So five thousand nine hundred and thirty eight posts in the combat arms section. 5,938, I think. Let's get the game going on CA Classic. Yes, I made a post while I was freaking recording a video. Eat my ass. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, what's a website you've been a member of for way too long, besides like Facebook or something like that? And just, uh, you know, why were you a member of the site? Why did you join it? What do you, what do, you do on the website? Let me know. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.